so we are starting a module, a new module in this um, uh, new training sessions that we are providing for you guys. This is the module about uh, building a business plan. So welcome everyone, and thank you so much for coming. My name is Miriam Lazarte. I'm the CEO of Latam Startups. And now I'm going to present to you how is that we are working with companies to build a business plan. Now, just a side note, uh, you know, at this point uh, for you to know those, those that are working with our companies, the, the ones that are in a startup visa program, all of them already have uh, business plans. Uh, so you may not have to work that much in this area, uh, but if you are selecting like a company uh, that you want to work with outside of our network, then, uh, you know, this is going to be pretty useful for you to uh, know how to help a company in this part. Also, uh, you know, for the companies that we have right now, uh, most of them actually, uh, you know, need to um, update the business plan, make sure it's, it's, it's working, you know, at the level that they are expecting in terms of results and, uh, you know, new markets and things like that. So uh, it may be that, you know, certain areas, you still need to work with them, uh, you know, in, in business plan. But uh, what, I'm, what I want to say is that probably not, all that you uh, you have to work from the beginning. Uh, that is what I'm going to present in this uh, session now. Uh, okay, so building a business plan is pretty important for uh, you know startups or all entrepreneurs, but they all have something in common. They all hate it. Uh, nobody likes to be building business plans. Nobody really wants to do this anymore. And actually, you know, it's not a thing for companies that uh, are just starting and you are in the ideation phase. I believe the business plan is not that relevant when you are in that stage. But if you are like a, already with a product and you want to validate yourself and maybe start proposing, uh, you know, investment, uh, you know, or proposing uh, to get some grants uh, or uh, to get into some programs, in the market, then you know business plan comes uh, really much handy for companies that are uh, you know are uh, basically projecting themselves and looking at somebody that can uh, help them. So I kind of covered already why it's important, uh, but I want to say also that you know the business business plan is a live document. Uh, this is not just a document you made two or three years ago and you won't see it again. This is a document that you probably see every single month or every quarter, and you will have to update in, in some areas. So again, the companies that are with us in the Startup Visa program, the, the, they are already Canadian corporation, they already have this document. And many times, uh, you know, they need to keep working on it. Um, sometimes it takes over three months to actually keep working on it. And every time that they are going to a new country or they are expanding or changing things, they actually have to update the document. It's important because they they want to reach out investors. Uh, they want to get funded. Um, they want to probably reach out also government and sometimes government can ask for business plans. They want to reach out corporations where they can partner. And there are certain parts of the business plan that they can uh, actually show to the corporation and, and let them know that they are also important in the market. Uh, so that's how they basically use it. Um, what to write in a business plan, I will go through the structure, uh, but it's pretty simple. It looks simple. It kind of goes complicated when you are actually deep in, deep in, in what, what's the information that you are getting from uh, the different questions. Uh, and then, you know, you can see that many entrepreneurs perhaps haven't uh, thought about those questions or, uh, you know, about the customer structure or the operational part of the business. And then they start to struggle. They start to struggle to answer. And then is when uh, you figure out that you need help uh, and you need uh, you know, somebody else that can visualize that part of your business that you didn't do in the past. Uh, so where to find information? I'm going to go uh, in the next slide and show you know, where we, we can get information about uh, you know, how to build a business plan and all that. Certainly, there is a bunch of websites that you can access. Uh, you know, if you Google it, how to build a business plan, there are different structures, different ways, but we like to work with a specific structure here because so far it has been working beautifully uh, for our startups. Um, 
Uh, many questions that I get also between the questions that I get is how big is the file? And uh, you know, the file can be 20, 30 pages. It depends on the company. Certainly it's no five pages. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, I get startups that they come with just five pages of a business plan. I, I have a startup that I have sent us like 50, 100 pages of a business plan. And that's not uh, what we want to see. We want to see like, uh, you know, a good solid document, but uh, no, like a, a super extremely big or small. Um, the next question we get about business plans is that these are private documents. Do we need an NDA to, uh, you know, share this document? Your business plan should be available for sharing. Uh, so you shouldn't have any important or sensitive information in your business plan that can affect uh, per se uh, negotiation or your business. Uh, you know, those sensitive information sometimes are passing on in different other meetings and then you sign NDAs to release, for example, information about the code, information about some other areas of your company uh, that may be sensitive. Um, if you have an idea and you're working on a business plan, everybody has an idea. So, uh, you know, if you are, uh, if you have fear that, uh, you know, somebody's going to steal that idea, I'm sorry, you know, there are like a, probably 10,000 people right now that have the same idea that you had. Some of them execute the idea, some others not. So it's not worth it to be private about a business plan. It should be a document that will support uh, support your uh, expectations of building up and growing your business. It should support, uh, you know, that uh, people that want to get access to the generalities of your business, uh, and, you know, they can get it in that document. And also it, it should be the one that you can share, uh, you know, with other people. Now there are the financial part of the business plan that sometimes is sensitive. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to show your financials, uh, then you can get an NDA for that. But I can I have to say that Many times investors, they get a little bit confused why people are asking for an NDA for just a conversation. So just, you know, if you're advising a startup, advise them well in this area. Um, so, okay, here we go about what type of tools we use uh, for uh, building a business plan. And uh, we usually use Footerpreneur. It's a pretty cool uh, platform. Uh, you know, they are from British Columbia. Uh, they extended to Ontario and some other places, and uh, we always use them. Uh, the business plan structure is extremely well done. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing here to just stop to, to share, you know, how is the Footerpreneur uh, website uh, working? Uh, so this is the Footerpreneur website. If you go there, uh, then you can go to um, resources, and then you will find business plan writer. And uh, when you find a business plan writer, uh, you know, um, basically Footerpreneur is showing you, uh, you know, how the business plan is going to look like. This is basically a platform when you are working on it. You can see it has every single, uh, you know, a important a section for, for a business plan. It actually gives you tips about how to complete this business plan and examples, uh, you know, about the different sections. So, so you don't have to be worried about, uh, you know, oh my God, how I can, you know, how long it should be the text here or how much I can say. You can see the other examples from the other people. So what we do with our volunteers or people that, you know, usually work with our startups is that they create an account. Uh, please don't create it with your uh, Gmail account or your personal account, just because, you know, sometimes you have to share this uh, access to the platform with the people that you're working with. And because of that, you know, you, 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 it comes a little bit sensitive uh, sharing your own email and, uh, you know, um, password. Uh, so uh, we normally advise to create a different type of email if you are working with a project. Now, if you are working for your own project and then, uh, you know, uh, it comes different, you can use, of course, uh, your email. Um, there are two things that happen with this platform. And this is, uh, you know, recommendation we have. Some people would like to actually download a version of the business plan. So you can come here and actually you can download, uh, you know, Word documents. So you can uh, probably work in Google Drive uh, with other people at the same time because the platform, unfortunately, doesn't allow you to work several people at the same time. Meaning that if I'm right now on the platform and somebody else wants to access to the same business plan, it won't allow to do that. 
So if you are working like on a team and several people are trying to access, better is to have them in Google uh, Drive so you can have an interactive type of uh, Word document. But um, also it's important to know that if you are going to do that, just write whatever in every single section because sometimes when people download the, um, uh, the information from the business plan, sometimes uh, for some reason, the program doesn't download some of the sections. So if you write whatever in those sections, then uh, you know it will download every single section that you see there. Now, if you're going to work in the platform, uh, be aware that sometimes we have complaints. People that say, oh, my information has been uh, lost or I didn't save it or I didn't know how to save it. Uh, you have to make sure when you are working in a platform that you actually save the information that you're working with because sometimes you can be working for hours and then it's pretty annoying and frustrated to go to a platform the next day and not find the information. Like uh, that's totally discouraging, you know, people to continue working. So just make sure that you actually are saving the information. If you don't know how, just send a note to the people of Futurpreneur. They are pretty good into answering in the next 24, 20, 48 hours when it's like a business day. And, uh, you know, um, the other part is that there are other versions of business plan that you don't necessarily uh, need to be working with Futurpreneur that I mentioned at the beginning. If you actually want to use a different, uh, a different tool, uh, you know, you find other structures that are more suitable for what you are doing with the company that we are working with, then do it. Uh, you know, don't, don't stress out to be just working in Futurepreneur. We just find this very useful uh, for people that, that are not understanding the basics of business plan and it's very useful also for advice. Uh, so I'm going to share again, my slide here and then I go for uh, you know uh, the different sections of the business plan so you have executive uh, summary this information in particular the executive summary and the company profile should be given by the company you cannot make up that part right uh, so if you're helping a company please be aware that uh, you know the company has to provide this information sometimes people tend to be a little bit slow or they don't want to provide it right away and then, you know, their business plans come also late when they want to present that, uh, this document to investor, they probably are not super ready to present it. Uh, but, you know, what you need to work on is in the market research. So this will give you a lot of opportunities to learn about the sector, learn about competitors, uh, maybe do focus groups and create a SWOT analysis. SWOT, oh shoot. Uh, I have to. I have to also um, kind of fix this part. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, when you are working with this part, uh, you probably are going to be um, looking at this specific part in the market research and model and um, model two, which is the next one after this one. It's extremely important this part. And very very important. So when you are um, working in the market uh, research part, uh, you know, you understand a lot about the challenges of the company and about, uh, you know, what are the real opportunities for the company entering into uh, a new market. Now, uh, the business plan also, uh, you know, uh, you may have the opportunity to download uh, the examples that you see in, in Futurpreneur, the financial templates that gives you the opportunity to work for two or three years in advance, you know, it's, it's an Excel that comes with every single tool that you need to actually, uh, you know, uh, look at the, at the projections of the company. Uh, so it's pretty useful. I will say for, for people that are always uh, are trying to uh, see the future of the company, put the expenses, put the uh, income, and then look at, you know, how's the financial projections going to look at. And then uh, you have some other tools and, and guidelines in that. So I'm going to stop sharing here and I'm going to go to uh, Futurpreneur again uh, here. And you will see here, uh, you know, the basically uh, the business plans, there are 17 different business plans structures and there are for every single sector that you can imagine. Uh, so it's pretty much good. Uh, you know what you have to do in this area, um, I will say, like you have a lot of uh, information here. And also you will see the financial templates like we, we were talking before in the other model about the cash flow template and then this, the operational cash flow template. You, you can download these two for free 
uh, you know, and uh, it will give uh, you know, an opportunity for you to put numbers in there and the cash flow template will do uh, its work by itself. Um, I mean, as far as you print the, the right information. And of course, uh, you know, some guidelines uh, like, you know, there are different uh, tools here that you can use for free, um, you know, the information that, um, that you can use as understanding your competitors and things like that that you know can give you a pretty good idea on how to help these companies in the market uh, research plan so i'm going to stop sharing here and come back to the presentation so this is in here okay we're about to finish because this is not a, like a super long presentation but i'm going to go into what are the actions required uh here uh, so the idea is that you can you can actually create the uh, foodpreneur account. Uh, you can work with the uh, with the tech company uh, that you have selected either to improve the business plan uh, of certain sections, uh, or uh, you know you can also work in the marketing strategy of the business plan. There's another uh, part that you're going to see in one of the modules. You can work in the business development strategy. Sometimes you know when they they have worked with us those business plans. It's kind of the first idea on how they are going to operate in Canada. And of course, over the years, this changes. Um, so it's important you know, that, that you understand uh, you know, that you can help them. You can keep help them in, in, that, in those areas. And uh, again, if you're working with a new company or your own project, then um, you can actually uh, create your business plan and start working on that. Although it's going to take you probably three months to complete the business plan, so that's the average. So, um, help the Canadian company to improve and build and then present an initial SWOT uh, analysis uh, that's in the deadline next week. Uh, so you, uh, the, in the deadline is July 30th. Uh, so you have two weeks to actually analyze the business plan, maybe read the one that, you know, the startups already have. If you are working with a startup that already have the business plan, identify uh, places to improve and then you can present an initial SWOT. Now, um, you don't have to super work deep in this part because in market research in the next model, you are going to see the SWOT analysis more in deep. And then, uh, you know, you, don't, you, you are not going to be uh, a necessary, um, you know, in, in this part uh, going deep into what is the business plan SWOT analysis. And then deliver the, the first draft of a business plan by July 30th. If you are working with a company that already, uh, you know, has a business plan, then you can present what are the areas that you think that they, they should improve in the business plan. And that will be it, basically. So thank you so much for coming to this session. And uh, we are going to continue in the module three. If you have questions, Luisa Baptista, our project manager, will put together a meeting with you guys uh, so you can actually come and network with us and have questions about business plan. Thank you. Thank you.